Hello and welcome to this little video in which I will be showing you step by step how to configure the sending of notifications from a Fortinet team like this to a Telegram group. This is particularly useful for receiving notifications in real time, for example, when we have login attempts by unauthorized users, but it doesn't just end there, you can program it for many other things. What is going to be showing here is the step-by-step -step of how to create a Telegram group, a bot that is going to be writing the notifications that the Fortinet sends and programming our fort to send notifications every time there are a failed login attempt. So the first thing we need is to work on Telegram. What we are going to do is create a bot, and to create a bot we need to use another bot called Bootfather. They are simply going to go to Lupita and look for him like you father. Here it is, it's the one with a little drawing of the Godfather. Robotic. And once they log in, they click start. Here you have several options, we are going to keep it very simple and we are going to write new boot slash. Here it asks us to put a name for our bot, it can be anything, but it has to be a name that doesn't exist for any other vote. I will try with demo. Fortify the telegram. Well the user is available now what we have to do is put a username for our bot and it has to end with the word vote is mandatory so I can use the same name. Demo for ticket. Telegram and ended it in bot. Perfect, there was no problem with that name and here is a key piece of information, we need to take note of this token. This is essential information, from here we can use our bot, what we have to do now is create a group. I know I'm coming here. Create new group asks us who we want to add and we are going to add our bot remember that our bot is now called Mobot, sorry demos for Teak telegram bot. I copy this text, we look for it here. And here is not found the bot I just created selected them. And we put a name to the group. Strength and alerts. Done, the group already exists and here we have the second fundamental piece of information. The first data is the bot token and the second is the number of the channel or telegram group that I just created. I am intentionally using the web version of Telegram to be able to see this data directly, it is important that you copy it from the minus sign. So, with these two data we are going to work with this script, what they have to adapt to this script I will be leaving so that they can download it, we simply have to adapt this data. Here in this sector we leave the word Abbott and we have to replace all this with the token that gave us the vote that we just created, so I copy this. And in this script replaced it. And down here you can see that we have Shatard, I'm going to delete myself here too. This is an old test and the one from the group copied me. And voila, those are the only two things that need to be adjusted in this script, which is what this script creates. Can you see it graphically? Yeah, well, the FortiGate Security Fabric Automation. What this script will create for us is a switch, a trigger, and an action. We are going to execute the script that creates everything and I am going to be showing you one by one what these things are. This script works for Fort versions 7.0 and 72 and earlier versions. This exists and I have it down here too, but there are some syntax changes to the script, so I have it split like this. Since I'm working on a Ford GT720, I'm going to copy the above version. We come to the FortiGate, open a console, and directly with the updated data executed everything. 
This is what I don't think is next. I'm going to update here for you to see. We created a switch called admin login fail. A trigger that is called in the same way admin login fail and an action that is send telegram notifications. Let's go back to front. The action of the great notification center has the following. It has the name. It has the URL to the telegram API. And it has the token of our bot that we created and the send message action. This is an HTTPS, so it goes on port 443 and the method that we are going to use is post because we are going to be sending the message and here we have some fields for the HTTP body with the group chat we created. And in the text the message that the FortiGate wants to change and finally the HTTP gear. What is content type application JSON? Then deliver. If we review the admin login fail, what we have is simply the call to the admin login fail event. This is an event that already exists. It is cataloged in our team and look at all the ones that can be used to customize the sending of notifications to Telegram have everything to be able to create. A good set of alerts and always be informed about what is happening in your FortiGig. Finally, what remains for us to see is the switch. Let's open up the admin login fail and what we have here in this sticks is simply the indication of which trigger is associated with which action. In this case, the admin login fail stitch says that when the admin login fail trigger that we just saw is fired, what it does is look at the FortiGate logs in search of the ID that is generated when a failed login attempt occurs. And when that happens, trigger the Telegram notification bio action as simple as that. It is a cascade of conditions and actions. So with all this created, the only thing left is that this will probably work. I'm going to log off. And I'm going to try to log in with a user. Made up. And any user password does not exist. I'm going to check here in the Telegram group and notice that I immediately received the notification. It tells me that a made-up administrator that Sergio used a name that I just made up made a failed login attempt from this IP address, which is the internal IP of my computer. And the reason because of I invalidated the username is it doesn't exist, so let's go. Try to log in with admin that does exist, but a wrong password. We see that I received another notification. Here it tells us that the admin made a failed attempt also from the same IP. Here the reason change says Picoso's invalid password. Then I'm going to get it right. And this is not going to generate any notification for me. Could you program it so that notifications are also sent with logins? Successful. That depends on you and in this super super abbreviated way. No twists. We have just seen how to schedule Telegram notifications from our FortiGig computers. I hope this is particularly useful and that you can apply it. If you like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and until the next video.